So I'm gonna move on to the next item. I think I may mow or maybe do some edging on these beds here. See how nasty that is. I need to do some mowing actually, to be honest with you. So I think I'm gonna get the mower out and do a little bit of mow mow job. I think it needs some grease. Take that off of there. There. So I had a malfunction. This thing was rubbing quite profusely. Ooh, that's a sharp deal there. So, I'm going to tighten it up. Took this motor off here. And now, I've got a crap load of grass in there. I don't like. Get all the grass out of there got this little seal here it's o-ring seal that goes here like that so i took this motor off so i could kind of adjust the reel right here so i kind of bumped into the concrete with the bed knife here and there's a high spot on there so my bed knife needs to be ground i may take this to my guy so if you can hear that hear that there's a high spot on the bed knife right there. So I need to get it ground. So I think I may just take this back to my guy, have him grind the bed knife. There's a high spot on the bed knife. And when you run the motors on the reels, you can hear it. it makes a loud racket. There's the lesson. Don't, don't slam into anything. Don't run it on the concrete. And certainly, don't let your friends go mowing the lawn for you. I want to mow so badly, and I just have not been able to do so because I've been so busy doing other stuff, helping other people, doing a bunch of stuff, which is really good. Just been super busy and haven't been able to mow. And now that I want to mow, I've got an edge. The sun's starting to go down. I have to fix this. Probably should take this into my guy to have him fix it grind the bed knife so it's um, nice and uh, flat, even, and true. like it's due and ready for a cut. It's been several days since I've mowed this, probably four, five, six days. I do have a burr on my bed knife that's causing a bunch of racket. So I need to take that off, take it down to my guy to have him grind it out of there, which kind of sucks because that's just going to be more money.
that's my guy over there mowing and he missed a big fat spot right here. I saw him do it and I was like, oh, he sucks at mowing just like Ryan. Don't let your friends go mowing the lawn for you. Oh, there she is. Hey! So I love that Real Master 3100D. It is awesome. I mowed the whole lawn in about an hour or maybe an hour and a half, uh, twice, pretty much in two different directions. And I love it. It is so fantastic. It's kind of hard to get around the trees. And that's why I mowed it twice. So I can kind of get all the different areas and directions. The lawn actually looks a little bit weird on camera. It looks more yellow than it actually really is. It's actually really green and it looks really nice right now. You can't really tell, I've noticed that as I've been watching these videos that it kind of looks more of like a yellow color. I've got some POA patches over here, right there. You can see kind of these lime green spots right here, right there, and over here and here. Those are kind of a little bit of a pisser. There's some right there. Pretty sure that spot right there is ryegrass where I spilled the bag, where I spilled some. Got some more ryegrass right there. You can see little patches of rye, and those are a pisser. So I have, I'm gonna take a little bit of Roundup to some of these POA patches, and then hopefully I can get some good grow in. The uh, real mower gives such a fantastic cut. It's so nice. No wheel marks. It just looks so good and the cut is fantastic. It's like June the 18th, I think. So starting to get into the hotter part of the year. Only a couple more days and the sun's gonna flip on us. We've got some plans in the future for the lawn coming up mid to the end of July, which I'm looking forward to. I think it's gonna be a fun project. Still need to work on that project over there, putting the pavers in the walkway area or the drive. The thing that's holding me up with this over here is money. I figure it's gonna cost me about four grand just for the materials or the pavers to put in there. Here comes some folks, some looky-loos. So, so what's that guy doing with the camera? Hey! <laughs> Sorry. Hi. So the deal with this is I need to get the pavers in first so I can grade right up to it, so I can fix this section, plant grass there, I can plant grass in this hole right here, the pavers on the walkway will have to come up a little bit, and that will get fixed over there. All those rocks will be gone, and it'll be grass right up there. So the major obstacle here are the pavers themselves, and that's gonna cost money. So it's really late in the game, and I need to get my dahlias planted. They're not as big as I would have hoped, they could have been. I did not get them started early enough as usual. Whoa, I got a big mess on my hands over there. I got a huge mess on my hands over here. If you see all these buckets here, all this crap, the garbage can, it is just a big fat mess and something I need to spend some time on. Hopefully I can get to that tomorrow. Check out those irises, how tall they are. Those are about the first year that I've finally been able to get good blooms on those. My wife hates those. She thinks that these flowers kind of just look like toilet paper. And I kind of do too, but I still like them. I think they're cool. That's gonna do it for... Hey! Don't be looking at me! So that's gonna do it for this video. And these guys are kind of looking at me, making uh, funny faces at me. So they're behind the camera. So that's gonna do it for this video. See you in the next one.